Coming up next, the PV Drama Department takes on the musical Heathers. Welcome to Behind the Scenes. I'm Giovanna here at Palos Verdes High School where the PV Drama Department is taking on Heather's The Musical. Next up this spring, we have Heather's The Musical, uh, based on the 1980s cult classic uh, that many know and love, uh, starring Winona Ryder and Christian Slater. This is uh, the movie turned into musical. Uh, we are doing the teen version, and um, I'm directing it uh, along with Andrew Miller here, who... Yeah, uh, my name is Andrew. I was uh, Thompson's student just a few years ago, um, and after college, uh, where I studied theater and acting performance, I wanted to transition to becoming a high school teacher, so I returned to the best of the best um, and Thompson was kind enough to welcome me in and this is the third fourth third third show that we've worked on together um, and it's great just collaborating with a mentor a, a lifelong mentor um, and creating really awesome work and working on the next generation of uh, you know theater students and all that we're having a lot of fun we have a terrific cast crew and a live pit of musicians that are uh, PV high students and even um, uh, we have a student from Peninsula High as well in our pit, which is super exciting. We kind of turned around the NPR here. We are on the NPR floor. And what's really unique about this production is that we are going to have bleacher seating, just like at a basketball game. There'll be bleacher seating here and here um, that we're hoping to fill with students. And then we have reserved seating out front here. Uh, and then we want to make sure people do know that it is PG-13. There are some mature themes uh, that are involved in the show. So this is not for the littles. We promise to do something a little more family friendly next year. This year's for the teenagers. Uh, this is deals with a lot of issues that high schoolers go through now and how fitting in. It's really uh, where we Get Mean Girls Today is based on uh, Heather's of the 80s, yeah. and um, you're going to see that reflected um, in this show. But even with the darker themes, there's a lot of humor. Oh, the music yeah. is fantastic. It's the same um, writer as the music for Legally Blonde, and it is a lot of fun. Uh, so we hope that you'll come join us. It, uh, to get tickets, you can go to pvhsdrama.com, and we hope to see you here at the theater. Uh, pit ready? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm the conductor for the orchestra pit of Heathers, and I've done a lot of preparing by watching the full show on YouTube, as well as uh, listening to the soundtrack numerous times, like more than I can remember, to learn all the entrances. Uh, the vamps and also just getting the tempo steady. What are some life lessons you picked up while being part of the PV drama department? So the most important lesson that I've learned while doing a uh, pit is my time management skills. I realized that um, life isn't just about doing one thing as good as you can, as you possibly can. You also have to juggle a lot of things uh, with it. So like, especially when you're still in high school, um, there's a lot of academics and other extracurriculars that I'm part of. And that 
uh, being part of this really helped me understand the importance of that. How have your peers and the people around you inspired you in the PV drama department? So at the beginning of sophomore year, I didn't really know anything about musicals. It wasn't until Johannes Eberhardt, a junior at that time, who introduced me to uh, the show Peter and the Star Catcher. That's when I first joined Pitt as the lead uh, pianist. And I think I learned a lot from his conducting and also just uh, people management skills. Because going into high school, I'm a very introverted person. Uh, I don't really hang out with my friends a lot. And being part of the drama department really helped me learn how important uh, social skills are. And lastly, what are your future plans in life? Do they include drama or music? In the future, I plan on continuing uh, studying music and playing music or conducting as uh, a an hobby as, uh, of mine. And I think that will really help me balance between the schoolwork and help me de-stress in the future. I'm Reese Lynch. I'm Gavin Russell. Uh, we're both 17 years old and we've both been a part of the drama department since our freshman year. We're juniors right now. Tell us about your character and how you've prepared for this unique process. Uh, I play Ram Sweeney and he plays Kurt Kelly. We've been preparing for these characters I guess since like sixth grade. We've been friends since then and we've both grown up in drama together and just been friends since. Sweet. What are some life lessons you picked up while being part of the PV drama department? Um, being a part of this department taught me how to be more confident in myself and just be able to bring smiles to other people because just putting a smile on somebody's face can change their whole week. How has Miss Thompson inspired you? Yeah, Miss Thompson has really inspired me throughout my whole time being here. I mean, I came in as a rambunctious little freshman and I've really matured and grown different ways and gained discipline. Share a memorable moment with the PV drama department. My favorite moments is when we figure out what the show is for the next year and we'll usually go over to somebody's house. This time it was Reese's house and we all sit down on his couch and we watch the show and we talk about who we're all going to go for the next year. It's just a good time. Fun. What are your future plans in life? Does it include drama? Uh, yes, I think we both plan to apply for colleges for musical theater departments. Uh, my name is Dash Tyler. I am a senior and I've been with the drama department for all four years I've been in high school. My name is Gavin Kresser. I'm also a senior and I also have been in drama for all four years. Tell us about your character and how long you've prepared for this process. Uh, well, me and Dash have the pleasure of playing a variety of characters in this show. So that process uh, included really a lot of working on the physicalization and our character voices, trying to make large choices uh, and create unique sort of personas for each of our uh, parts. Cool. What are some life lessons you picked up while being part of the PV drama department? Um, some huge like life lessons I've personally learned is just about expressing myself and finding a way to f channel all my creativity into something that I love and I enjoy doing. Um, and through that I've learned how to work with people that share my same interests and passions and stuff. And I've learned how to, you know, um, work as a team and work with people to create something beautiful, which is uh, something I want to keep doing for the rest of my life. 
Amazing. How has Miss Thompson inspired you? Uh, I think the thing that Miss Thompson has done that inspires me the most is create such an open and welcoming space where we are all so kind and compassionate for each other and it doesn't feel like there's ever any judgment really or malice towards each other. I feel like it really is all just one big happy family. Could you share a moment with the PV drama department? Um, yeah, a lot of the memories that stick out to me are the moments right before we are about to perform or just right before any show that we're about to perform where we all get in a big circle as a cast and a crew in a pit and we just sort of hold hands, we sort of connect our energies and you know, some people will step into the circle and sort of give um, their speeches and sort of talk about their experiences and it's just a really nice moment of being connected and supporting each other and that's just, I always um, really remember those moments and those always stick out to me. Uh, a lot of my future plans involve a lot of stuff that I've been introduced to through this department. I want to keep for the rest of my life pursuing um, storytelling as a career. I want to work with people that share that passion and tell um, stories with them and express all these amazing ideas and concepts with all these amazing characters and worlds that we can create with our minds and it's just such a beautiful thing that I've learned and grown so attached to and um, I am going to go to college for screenwriting. Um, that's something that I'm super excited about and um, a lot of that sort of storytelling process and learning how to tell those stories has been taught to me through this department, which is just so amazing. Like I can't, I can't even put it into words. My name is Jake Wyrick. I'm in 12th grade and this is my third year in PV drama. Tell us about your character and how you've prepared for this unique experience. JD is a very complex character to say the least. He's complex in both his personality and his motives throughout the story. He came from a very broken home and that kind of shaped his views on reality. And when he meets Veronica, it kind of sparks that joy in him a little bit. Um, a way I've really prepared for this role is uh, I normally play very sensitive characters. That's, that's always been my go-to. But um, I try to look for sensitive moments within the story that I can filter into it. And the rest, you know, just very hardcore. What are some life lessons you've picked up while being part of the drama department? I think the biggest life lesson I've learned is never be afraid to try anything. Um, that's how, that's actually how I came into this department. You know, I never thought in a million years I would be in the drama department. I was a very shy kid. I always shut off others, but you know, when I let them in, it felt like the best thing in the world. And here I am now. How has Ms. Thompson inspired you? Miss Thompson is is just amazing. I mean, she's always been there to help me in my most troubled times or just whenever I need to have a talk. But she's also just, she's so encouraging with her spirit and her words. And she always knows when to say something to get things done. She's very hardworking in that sense. Amazing. And finally, what are your future plans in life? Do they include drama? <laughs> I've always juggled between being a singer-songwriter and being on Broadway or just small-time theater, um, any form of acting, but um, that's why I feel like I need more time to definitely reflect on what I want to do, what I can do, what I see myself doing, but um, most of all, I just really want to perform. That's my dream. Tell us your name, grade, and how long you've been part of the PV Drama Department. My name is Senna Neiman. I'm in 11th grade and I've been a part of PV Drama since the fall or spring semester of my freshman year. Amazing. Tell us your character and how you've prepared for this unique process. Uh, my character's name is Miss Fleming. She's the kooky guidance counselor, art teacher. She kind of does it all. Um, and I've really prepared by looking at characters who have very, you know, the whole story is about them kind of attitudes, so Moira Rose from Schitt's Creek was a big influence. Um, other characters who are very physically big, like the counselors from the movie uh, Theater Camp, were a big influence with their, you know, shameless personalities and very big physicality. What are some life lessons you picked up while being part of the drama department? Um, one of the biggest life lessons I've got is that 
if you really work hard enough and you really commit to the team and you fully participate, really anything can be done and any role or position that you dream for can be accomplished. Nice. Share a memorable moment with the PV drama department. Um, some of my favorite moments are those in the dressing room with everybody. We're all getting ready and listening to music and helping each other with our makeup and hair and getting ready for the show together and really just that like excited energy about getting into the performance and starting the show and, you know, just the camaraderie of everyone working together. Amazing. And finally, what are your future plans in life? Does it include drama? Um, I am currently planning to go on and study theater directing, so I really hope to follow in Ms. Thompson's footsteps and hopefully be a theater director and, you know, continue the legacy of amazing theater. My name is Lola Della Torre. I'm a freshman and I've been with the PV Drama Department for one year. Amazing. Tell us your character and how you've prepared for this process. My character is Martha Dunstock, and I kind of watched interviews and watched the Heather's musical, like little clips of it, of her, and you know, kind of, yeah. Amazing. What are some life lessons you picked up while being part of the PV drama department? I think to be prepared and to be well organized, and like, I think I learned how to be more better with time, if that makes sense. Great, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, how has Miss Thompson inspired you? Miss Thompson inspired me because she's so, like, nice, and so, and lets us just do whatever we want, be very creative, but also has us in line, and she's just, she does it in such a great way. She just makes me want to be in drama every day. I'm so excited, and yeah, she's just a super great person, so yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Lastly, what are your future plans in life and does it include drama? I like fashion and makeup, so I would like to do something in theater with fashion and makeup, maybe costumes and stage makeup, stuff like that. But yeah. Tell us your name, grade, and how long you've been part of the PV Drama Department. My name is Lauren McDonald. I am a junior and this is my first year with the PV Drama Department. Amazing. Tell us about your character and how you've prepared for this unique process. Heather Mack is a character that's very similar to myself. She's very like go with the flow, but she also has a lot of like insecurities within herself and she she's always like trying to like get people to like her and stuff and always wants to have like those connections with people and those friendships and I just relate to her a lot. So it was very easy to prepare personally for me because I connect with her a lot in a lot of different levels. Amazing. What are some life lessons that you picked up while being part of the PV Drama Department? I think preparation's a big thing because you never know what's going to get thrown at you every day. There's a ton of different things like blocking lines and anything that could just get thrown at you at any time. So it's really helpful to like have those preparation skills and have those memorization skills that can help you through the process. Great. Um, can you share a memorable moment with the Drama Department? I have a lot of memorable moments with the drama department, even though this is my first year. I feel like all of like the like tech dinners and stuff like that, where we all can just like bond and have like a good time. We're all in costume. We all have like the vibes of the performance, and it's just like always really fun to connect with the cast and just like have have like a fun time together. I agree. Okay, finally, what are your future plans in life, and do they include drama? I'm not sure yet exactly what I want to do, but I, I've i recently like found that I really do love drama and it's something that I, I do think I would want to do in the future because it used to be dance, but then I just like when I jump back into like the theater, it was just really fun and I really enjoy it and it's something I think I do want to pursue for the rest of my life. Hi, my name is Maya Lee Petral. I'm in 10th grade and I've been a part of the PV Drama Department since I was a freshman. Amazing. Tell us about your character and how you've prepared for this experience. My character is Heather Duke. She's a mean girl, but she's not the main mean girl. She's more of like the jealous sidekick. And when approaching her, I kind of just think of her actions as a coping mechanism because at first she is kind of the bullied one by Heather Chandler, the main mean girl in charge. And then when she takes control, she uses the power that she now has to bring other people down to make herself feel better so I just sort of 
look at her actions and go about them in a way that's not that's kind to her even though she's really a mean person you have to I approach her actions with empathy what are some life lessons you picked up while being part of the PV drama department um, I think I've just really learned to be more confident in myself and what it means to have such great friends and just to rely on people and be my true self. Cool. Um, can you share a memorable moment with the PV drama department? Um, I would say just in general, some of my favorite moments are when we all hang out after shows, having dinners and just bond with each other. I think that it just really builds like camaraderie and helps us connect with each other. Amazing. And lastly, what are your future plans in life? Do they include drama? Yes, I definitely, musical theater and drama is the most important thing in my life. And I really would like to pursue a career in musical theater. And I just love being on stage and all the parts of it. My name is Jenny Grennan. I'm a senior and I've been with the drama department for three years. Cool. Tell us about your character and how long you've prepared for this process. Um, I've been preparing for this process since about December of last year. And something that really helps me with my character is um, every time I have to be mean or annoyed, uh, I think of something I really hate. Um, I really hate mushrooms, so I always think of mushrooms whenever I yell, um, as if someone put mushrooms in my food and they didn't tell me. Nice. What are some life lessons you picked up while being part of the PV drama department? Some life lessons that I've learned, uh, number one is always be yourself and um, people will, around you will appreciate that. And I've also learned to be very self-driven. Amazing. How has Ms. Thompson inspired you? Ms. Thompson inspires me because she sees the good in every single student she has. She sees the talent in every single person and she molds that and she helps us become um, our best. And lastly, what are your future plans in life and does it include drama? Uh, my future does include drama. Uh, I'll be attending USC in the fall for theater and I'm hoping to either minor or double major in finance. Hi, my name is Rachel McGinty. I'm a senior and I've been a part of the drama department for four years. Tell us about your character and how you've prepared for this process. Ooh, my character, Veronica, is a really um, nerdy but very kind and compassionate person. Um, I love her for her snarkiness and her sarcasm and just the way that she sees life is very interesting to me. Um, I prepared for this by watching a lot of the movie, watching a lot of different portrayals of her and kind of seeing like what I liked and what I didn't like and how I could bring truth to the performance um, with you know parts of myself that are similar to Veronica. Um, yeah, amazing. What were some life lessons that you picked up while being part of the PV drama department? Um, being a part of the PV drama department, I've really learned to just be confident in myself and just kind of go for things. I Before I was in the department, I felt like I was just so scared of everything and I was always so nervous. And being here and doing stuff that scares me every day has really just taught me that, you know, so a lot of things aren't that scary and sometimes you just have to do them and you just have to try your best and really just go in with full confidence and you know sometimes it's not half bad. Nice. How has Miss Thompson inspired you? Ms. Thompson inspires me every day with her passion for what she does and her passion for her students. You'll never meet a teacher that is so passionate about each and every one of her students. She takes in with love and care and she gets to know them all and she just has this, this spirit, this, this, this passion and this ambition and it's so awesome to work with and be able to uh, be taught by because she just, makes things work and she always does it in such a kind and awesome way. Amazing. And finally, what are your future plans in life and does it include drama? Yeah, so in the fall I'll be attending Marymount Manhattan College for VFA and musical theater, which is really exciting because um, musical theater is all I've ever wanted to do ever. Um, so I'll be doing that in the fall and hopefully for the rest of my life. <laughs>
Heathers, the musical, and it is a lot of fun. Uh, so we hope that you'll come join us. It, uh, to get tickets, you can go to pvhsdrama.com, and we hope to see you here at the theater. Heather's the Musical kicks off on April 12th. For tickets and information, visit pvhsdrama.com. I'm Giovanna, and thanks for watching. Go Sea Kings!